So how do we integrate x over the square root of 1 minus x to the fourth dx? If you look at the integrand, you may notice that the square root of 1 minus x to the fourth in the denominator looks a bit like the square root of 1 minus x squared in the derivative of arc sine of x, which is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. If we do the substitution, u equals x squared, then the square root of 1 minus x to the fourth in the denominator becomes the square root of 1 minus u squared, which is the same as the square root of 1 minus x squared in the denominator of the derivative of arc sine of x, except with a different variable. If we want to do the substitution u equals x squared, then we would need to have the derivative of x squared, which is 2x, in the numerator. We don't have a 2x in the numerator, but we have an x term in the numerator, so we can bring out a constant of 1 half and rewrite the integral as 1 half times the integral of 2x over the square root of 1 minus x to the fourth dx. So now we're ready to do the substitution. We'll let u equal x squared, which means du is equal to 2x dx. If we do the substitution, this becomes 1 half times the integral of 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared du, since the 2x dx is replaced with the du, and since x to the fourth is equal to x squared all squared, the x to the fourth is replaced by u squared. Alright, so the integral of 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared is a standard integral and it's equal to arc sine of u, since the derivative of arc sine of x is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. So this expression is equal to 1 half times arc sine of u, plus some constant c. If we substitute x squared back in for the u, we get the final answer, which is 1 half arc sine of x squared plus c.